Hello there everyone, welcome back once again as we're back in for another episode of Darkest Dungeon Sticky in Difficulty Attempt Number 9 as we have our team to take on the Necromancer Apprentice. We have our party, we have Regami, we have Chandos, we have Bassett and we have Wally. I feel pretty good about them. Let's get moving. Gonna need food. Gonna need torches. Gonna need shovels. Uh, a few skeleton keys for a chest along the way. Holy water for urns and some medicinal herbs. Should round us off. Take one more key since there could be Mastery some other stuff. Over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? Okay. Let's get to walk. A devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. All right, boss is suit of white. Let's get moving. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Ah, uh, we are already getting people. That's not me. All right, it's done. Dodge. That's what we like to see. Let's just go ahead and take out the bomb rabble. Start questioning the obelisks. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Good. Noxious. Yeah, the soldier on the time limit. Start holding the armor stop. Make sure the obelisk can't do anything threatening so that we can heal. Since we fully covered. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. The light, the promise of safety. Fights. Just wait. Who has a good chance? 70, 60, 60, 60. All right, rally. Thank you. That was a very good map, though. Basically, marked out the entire place. Get that retribution moving. Plague to the back. The 
This guy will die from uh, the repost. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Start healing up Wegami. And gone for light. Let's see, so we have one, two, three, four fights. So we can actually take the moment to fire with and gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. Alright, well, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we do it. Actually, Bridge is probably better since that will take care of most of his stuff. Go ahead and. This is a boss that does inflict a lot of stress, so. Let's go ahead and do that. And give Wake Me equipment a nice little polish. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Try to figure out which one would be better for Wake Me the having him have the ramparts, but kinda like the slowdown since this way we can increase crit chance, not to mention make sure that we actually are hitting stuff when we have the chance. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Thought I might have screwed up my counter somehow. Alright, out of my way, you little insects. Soothed. Sedated. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Okay. I'm kinda thankful that we haven't had to go up against any stress heavy team sense. I feel like that's where our current team would struggle with. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Don't enjoy. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Good. Go ahead and throw the plague so that way we can stun both of them next. Okay. Uh, takes care of the their formation threat. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Now let's just go ahead and clean things up. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay. 
let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully we don't have Collector decide to show up. The way is lit. Okay. The okay. path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Appreciate getting blood. Chandos, really? Let's just go need all the threats we can get against for this fight since bit of an annoying one he is. Now we minimize damage. Do this. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. Get that blight on him. We do have a decent chance of trying to stun him. Might as well. Bastet could should at least try and fish for it, but when it comes to Bastet. For it again. Damn. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay, doing pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and throw a command out. He's dead to blight. Easy as that. To actuate them. Will these walking bones finally fail? Uh, looks like we don't really need the shovels, so go ahead and replace that with that. And I doubt that we'll face any more science stations. So Let's just go ahead and loiter a little bit, see what stuff that we can get as long as our food holds out. The moment food goes down, we are out of here. So hopefully we can backtrack all the way to this room battle of treasure. 
since that seems about the best way we can get the most amount of kill yields. I mean, granted, we could go for this little room battle, but then we'll be having to rely on the luck of whatever rewards we get from doing that room battle. So we're going to accumulate more stress from actually walking through this place and fighting anything, which is cool. Wouldn't be enough, but I think that's kind of fine with me. More heirlooms, always useful. Alright, more boots. Hopefully these guys will have some stuff for me. Very good head bastard. Wow. Almost max damage on all on all those heads. Very nice. Definitely something I will happily take. Although I will happily not take myself getting hit when I specifically have Wake Me mark himself. I don't appreciate that. Not one bit. These two are basically dead, so we can stun and let the blight take care of them. Precipitates a dizzying fall. In radiance, may we find victory. Should be fine with our torches now. Say I was expecting that. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. I should just go for the AOE, stun these two. Finish off the soldier with the retribution. Good. Ho! Oh, big hit, Bassett. Do like that. Alright, that forces the obelisk. And we can take out the defender. Actually, next turn with. Uh, Take him out this turn with Bali. Nice. Soothe. Sedated. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Aww. Hate to see it. Oh, 
Okay, well, uh, I guess we're moving on then. Pretty decent. Although, Chandos getting the slow reflexes definitely sucks, but you know what? This definitely could be worse. Finally, the serum is working. And the side effects are manageable. Okay, well, I guess next up is determining what we want to do, what we want to go after. Definitely not looking forward to doing the Simon, especially when it's just simply giving us a Dark Tambourine, like, come on. Dark... I would say that Dark Tambourine is, like, a horrible one for us, since all it's really doing is just keeping the Death Blow Resist. Guess we'll just simply need to find something else for our heroes to attack. But in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to you guys and gals that make this channel live. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.